We have all had questions. Questions about the nature of existence. Who am I? What is life? Why are my experiences the way they are? We've all asked such questions. And we weren't given a guidebook upon entrance into this realm. So when we ask these existential questions, it's as if we are longing to finally receive this guidebook that we weren't handed. You want to know the concrete answers, don't you? You want to know the right exactness of who am I? What is reality? Why is reality? How is reality? But I'm here to inform you that the answers don't lie in exactness, exactitudes, in concrete specification. Why? Because there are two elements which guide and m create creation. These two forces we know as the masculine and feminine, but we can also say order and chaos. They're the same thing. Now, when we're looking for the answer, like, I just want to know, we are hoping for a hyper-ordered interpretation of experience or what have you. But there is a substrate which order springs from, that's chaos. And chaos is simply the mysteriousness that can't be concretely known because the feminine, which is the force of chaos, must be felt. It is felt, and there is truth in that feeling, but it's not the kind of truth that you could write down in sentences, and that's that. And when we talk about re-remembering the long-lost ancient wisdom, we're really talking about reintegrating with this mystery. And merging it with the order. But remember, the feminine, the chaos, the mystery, the ethereal of all is the, gr the substrate, it's the base from which everything manifests from. Therefore, if we can't embrace the unknown, then we can't embrace true wisdom. And this pisses off one who is afraid of chaos within themselves deems it to be too spacey or not exact enough. But we are already in a world which attempts to produce all of these concrete answers. This matrix is a reflection of what happens when you emphasize order above chaos. So things here are quite ordered, aren't they? I mean, there's lots of bureaucracies, there's governments, everything is in a grid formation, especially in cities 
and it's all about zoning and what's yours and what is the actuality, the objectiveness of it all. So we already have a reflection of what happens when we disregard chaos and just want to focus on order. It leads actually to tons of disruption. Tons of disruption and disconnection. I find it very uh, funny, actually, when I hear questions such as, who am I and what is this and blah, 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 and, and who is she and why did I have to go through this? But everything is a fractal. Which means you can dive into infinite possibility of meaning in the interpretation of any moment, any event, any trauma, any interaction, any joyous occasion, etc. So I laugh when beings are standing there as if it's like, hey, I want the answer. Hey, divine, give me the answer. And you never get anything other than order with chaos. And this should not be misinterpreted as like, well, I, I didn't receive what's happening because what's happening has nothing to do, once again, with just the side we call order. You already know, everything is unpredictable. Everything is ever morphing and changing and it's spontaneous and we're kept on our, our toes. And this makes some souls quite upset because well, how dare I receive such torment, right? I, I don't deserve this. I'm a pure soul. Well, then why would you experience torment, huh? It's everyone else. It's everything else. The mystery is very simple because the mystery is pure inspiration, which is a simple state. It's not complex. It's like, I'm inspired, okay. And it is this inspiration which is the notification of our connection. So, so many beings want to mull over all of these specifics, all of these specifics and the logical aspects of, well, what they see as the divine. And yet, the divine can't be analyzed in such a way without a piece of oneself being repressed and pushed into the abyss. After all, you can't let the chaos out. There are so many seekers who are looking for the right, correct answers, the correct way, wanting to get away from what's wrong and dirty. It's not a popular statement, but I find this to be nothing but foolish. What are you seeking? Something concrete? Did anybody ever inform you that it is your own aliveness, inspiration, and vitality which signifies your connection to the divine and everything else is an extraneous detail? Don't you know that? And why don't you know that? Well, when one ignores mystery, well, it, 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 it's all about 
what is exact. Catch me if you can. You cannot. You cannot. Many of you have watched me for a while. You can't catch me. What I mean is, the moment you think I'm one way, I shall show I am actually the opposite. Why? Because uh, order and chaos, when merged, it's like the two snakes of the caduceus. And then there are wings, so you can then fly, and you can fly, fly to and fro the realm of chaos and the realm of order, picking and choosing what you need in the moment, but never disregarding either. That is divine. Di is a prefix meaning two. And vine, well, it's like a vine. And when I, when I think of those intertwining snakes, which is the same thing as an integrated kundalini, I think of the symbol of the divine. It's like, yes, it's the masculine and feminine. It's chaos and order coming together, weaving in and out of each other, maintained by an axis, which means now flight can occur. Flight from limitation. Doesn't that sound lovely? Lovely.